Hi there guys, it's Alex at DJ Event Planner and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview on the new calendar. Um, so a lot of you haven't switched over to the new calendar yet, that's not a problem, but I just wanted to show you all how customizable it is. Um, today we're going to use the DJ EP demo domain and I've added three events on the 20th of April just to show you how it would look with multiple events and how you can change the information that's shown. Most of you will see in the bottom right, uh, sorry, bottom right hand corner, a blue bar that says software messages, customize your calendar settings. This is just a friendly reminder to let you know that we haven't seen you save your settings. If you have in the past, just go in, click save again, and that will disappear. For new users, click on this, and you'll get a lovely pop up telling you all about the information for each tab. Once you save, this will disappear. So I'm going to do this video quickly just to walk you through each of the settings. So first of all, let's just go back to our calendar. On here, we have three events and we have the day side panel down the side here. You'll see my three events are appearing here, but no information is showing. It's actually hidden away to make it quicker and easier for you guys to view. And as you can see, I can just click these to expand. Alternatively, I can click on expand all previews and it will expand everything. Now you can change all these settings and what appears in there by going up to settings. Again, if you haven't saved, you'll see this pop up. You've got general settings here, which allows you to change the start day, how many events per day you want to show how you want it to show and you can also group together booked events or non-booked events so it makes the calendar a bit easier to read especially if you're a multi-op with lots of events again these are all things that you should play with and have a little try down the bottom you can turn on and off different calendar options such as you can turn on birthdays for clients to remind you or even for employees Go along, you can also import Google Calendars. There's a bit of information on there on how to do that. Also, we have the Import DJ EP Calendars. You can do this by going to Setup, iCalendar, and then giving the other DJ a dynamic link. They then can post it in here. And finally, the event preview information. So, this section allows you to customise what's in that side panel. Let's just duplicate this up. So we can see the changes as we make it. So right now, they're not expanded. And it's the basic information. So in this tab, you can opt to have the information auto-expand for booked and for non-booked. You can also change the padding size, so if you want to make more fit in the page, you can. And the most important thing is here, your choices. To make it so that you're not overloading that page, we've limited it to 10 items in the event preview information. This is a lot more than what you previously had. And you can see here, you can select start times, setup times, an add-on list, room names, client portal information, you can also put a table in there with the employee information. And if you have custom event fields, you can also add those in there as well. And also we have a few extra quick link buttons. So as an example, we'll do a quick link to send an email with a template. And I'm going to add all the employee information for those events. So if we scroll up, Oh, actually, we're going to also add the total amount so we can see what's due. So there you go, guys. I've reached the 10 limit. There's a reason for that. It's so that you don't overload the information there. So click on save at the top. Now, if we go to the 20th and I expand this, there's more information on each event. 
super quickly, I'm going to go back now and just go back to event preview information and I'm going to have these auto expand. So when I click on them, it now opens up instantly for me and I can see who's on, which event and the information that I need. And as I added that quick email thing, I can quickly send a blank email to that client. So that's a quick overview of the calendar, guys. Um, a few other bits to mention is you've got a few new views, such as week view. You also have list view, so you can print it out quickly if you need to. We've got the day view, which has been tweaked a little bit. And this is all mobile friendly as well, so it all scales down nicely. Um, the other thing to notice as well is the year view has been updated. It's just a case of having a play with it guys and see how you get on. Any problems, as always, post on the support forum. The team will help you out with any questions you've got. Um, the only other final thing to mention is any changes you make are for your account. So if you're the master administrator and you make a change, it will not affect the employee accounts. So if you're an employee and you want to make a change, that won't affect any of the other accounts. So yeah, once again, as always, any questions, just post on the forum.